What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. So it's been few days OnePlus have rolled out Android 12 for OnePlus Nord. We have already received two open betas based on Oxygen OS 12 for OnePlus Nord and not everyone is happy about the stability and performance part of Oxygen OS 12. But in this video we'll show you guys one of my favorite ROM based on Android 12 for OnePlus Nord. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So here we have our OnePlus Nord which is currently running on the latest build of Pixel Experience Plus Edge. I've been using this room since yesterday and till now no issues to be found almost everything works super fine Let me show you the software information first So here you can see Android version is Android 12 and room comes with 5th April 2022 security patch This is the official build and it's way better than Oxygen OS 12 open beta 2 which is currently present for OnePlus Nord Talking about the benchmark results So as always we use different applications to test the benchmark with Geekbench application single course code 555 and multi course code 1000 705. With Antutu benchmark application, our OnePlus Nord scored 4,4894. We also did CPU throttling test and did not see a single issue with the throttling part. You can see the max CPU throttled up to 92% which is superb. And guys before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video and we still have 82 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel but they watch our videos so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video so guys this pixel experience plus edition is based on android 12 l which was basically meant for devices having larger screen so as you can see here soon you long press on the home screen you get this wallpaper section where you get four different options to directly choose between the wallpapers instead of going inside the wallpaper section and this feature was first introduced in android 12 l and you guys must be aware that pixel experience rooms doesn't come with much of customization options they are best known for its stability and great battery backup talking about the wallpaper so here we get all the pixel stuff wallpapers like we have the blue wallpapers which are live versions and you can also customize them from the wallpaper section itself and these are motion wallpapers so if you move your phone you can see bit of movement in the wallpapers itself monad seems to be working fine as you can see depending on the wallpaper the device have adapted to the same theme by default you will find google camera go edition pre-installed but you guys can anytime use ported google camera application one drawback on this custom room is we don't get the support of widevine certification so here you can see widevine certification is l3 rest other thing like payment services do work fine we do have fingerprint and face unlock feature and both of them does their job pretty well initially i did face bit of issues while adding my face but after that i tried multiple times adding my face and later i did not face any kind of issues initially it took me around 3-4 minutes to add my data so we do get the live translate feature under gestures we have almost everything which you can find it on pixel devices like one handed usage or you can say one handed mode three finger screenshot and almost all the touchscreen gestures are working fine for example double tap to wake double tap on the status bar to sleep and other gestures we do have the dark theme support and that's pitch dark instead of that grayish color also we have the option of smooth display wherein device will automatically switch between 60 hertz and 90 hertz so here we have the always on display where you can enable stuff like display media cover art display music visualizer and here is a glimpse to always on display so there was one issue which i noticed while using pixel experience room on my oneplus Nord. when i tried changing wallpaper for once i do got this error which says pixel launcher keeps stopping so this again happened only once later there was no issues talking about the battery backup and overnight battery drain so on my device always on display was turned on you can see i slept at 130 when the battery percentage was 50 and when i woke up in the morning the battery percentage was 39 so almost 11% of battery drain overnight and the main reason is always on display. No issues with the fast charging on this room. Battery backup is decent. I got approximate 3 hours of screen on time with always on display turned on and this was the first cycle. With upcoming cycles I know battery backup will be improved depending on my usage pattern. And this battery backup is a bit low because I did few testing like CPU throttling and other stuff. There is no unwanted application which is draining extra battery so obviously battery backup will be good and talking about the installation guide so guys i'll mention an installation guide in the description below just follow that guide and you'll be easily able to install pixel experience plus edition on your oneplus Nord. if you still have any kind of questions related to this room do let me know in the comment section below 
This was a quick look on Pixel Experience ROM Plus Edition for OnePlus Nord. As of now only this much in this video. I hope you guys like the video. If you like the video then do give me a thumbs up. And also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.